Whenever I use the word hydration, we need to hydrate the body, everyone says to me, so how much water should I drink? Or what's the quality of water? Because we link hydration with water and immediately people think of drinking water. And look, whilst it is important to have to drink water, yes, but in this video, I'm going to share with you what hydration means in terms of our fascia, our energy production, okay, and our vitality. It lies at the heart of everything, of, of our well-being. So I want to recap, fascia is the sensory tissue that gives our body shape and form. It is one continuous fabric. There is no separation. It integrates all of our biology, right? Now, our nervous system is the, the system that protects us. And when life gets tough, our nervous system adapts. And it's this adaptation in the way that it protects us to keep us safe that uh, creates a biochemical shift as well as a structural shift in the body. So, when you feel anxious or you are in anticipation, you'll notice how you start bracing, right? That bracing is happening in your fascia and it often happens beneath our awareness. In fact, it, it happens beneath our awareness. And if we're in that state, over time, you will feel stiffness, stuckness, inflammation, strain and autoimmune response, which may lead to chronic pain, fibromyalgia. So all these autoimmune responses that happen within our body are in, is information. It's information from within with what's happening to our body's fascia and the state of our nervous system. So in our, our fascia vocabulary, we call that dehydration because the viscosity of fascia has changed. Now, let's begin with what is fascia made from? It is mostly water. In fact, our body is mostly water, 70%, um, both inside cells, outside cells. And by the way, fascia is all the tissue outside the cell. So you have cells and then the, the tissue that brings those cells into form. So mostly water, fiber, proteins, collagen and elastin. And there's um, these glycoaminoglycans, starches, if you, if you like. So starch, protein and water, or fiber and gel. And I say gel because the starch, this glycoaminoglycan, one of the molecules is hyaluron. And you will have seen hyaluron in um, anti-aging creams, for example. And it's a molecule that absorbs water. And it gives us the plumpness in our tissue, in our skin, in our body. So fascia is made from these proteins, starches, and mostly water. And when you are in a stress response, it shifts your entire biochemistry, which means that the, this gel-like uh, part of your fascia or the ground substance becomes sticky. It becomes viscous. So we, we're talking to this viscoelastic property of your fascia. It becomes, uh, the, we, it depletes us in energy as well. So as well as this viscoelastic, elastic means kind of like springy, vital. Um, you know, it can rebound to our touch. It has this recoil property. So I'm giving you the, the language of fascia, recoil, springy, rebound. When you press, it rebounds back. It, it's, it's not stiff. And when fascia is more viscous, it just leads to 
all these responses, these conditions that we experience in the body, chronic pain and so on. So we call that dehydration. And hydration is when we are feeling vital, there's no pain, we have a, a vibrancy, vitality, our body moves with ease, right? So hydration is that when fascia is hydrated, everything is lubricated. So the areas where we feel a bit sticky, so we often say that, you know, our joints are stuck. We don't actually have joints in the body, but we have areas within the body where the fascia might twist, our fabric might twist, and when it's dehydrated, it will feel stickier in those areas. For example, we might feel stiffness in our lower back, neck and shoulders. The, the gel needs to hydrate. And the fibers, the collagen fibers, they create a helix, a double helix. So think of a basket weave, like, you know, this kind of beautiful weave that can expand. So fascia is a web, it can expand and it can come back in. So it's like a weave. And when we feel stuck, those fibers become kind of glued together. It's more kind of glue-like than gel-like. So dehydrated fascia is more glue-like, things stick together, and gel-like, when it's hydrated, those fibers begin to reorganize. So the fibers reorganize and your body can move and expand and respond. Ah, and you'll notice how the breath arrives. So notice my hands, there's this expansion and then a kind of interweaving, the interweaving like this. And if that interweaving is stuck, then it's difficult to have this response, this responsiveness in the body. And of course, if you are hypermobile, there is a, there's an information shift that needs to happen to bring this elasticity back, this whole body response of your chemistry as well as the structure. So we're integrating the whole. And in the, in the next video that I will, in the next maybe, not the next one, but the next one, I will be guiding you to the nature of our form and how to connect to your body in a way that helps you recognize this responsiveness of the body and how information, even just a subtle moving of the ground or a subtle motion, the whole body responds, right? So hydration is when the um, water, this gel in your body is, is more jelly-like and not glue-like. And there are the, the, the research around this gel-like so that the fibers can glide. And instead of stretching, we're looking at how um, fibers can glide. The muscle fibers can glide. The fascia can glide in between the folds. The collagen fibers, even at collagen level, they can start to unravel and glide and move with ease. So this whole fabric can move with ease, not just one part. And you might feel sticky in one part, and there are movements like oscillations, for example, that will ease certain restrictions. We don't know sometimes where those restrictions happen. For example, if you're feeling in anticipation, you could be holding your pelvic floor. You could be anticipating and you're holding through the throat, the diaphragm, the pelvic floor, and you might end up with kind of a niggly hip, for example. And the softening of our body's fascia, this kind of gel-like and hydrating the tissue will allow those fibers to reorganize. They will calm the pain signals going to a particular area. They will calm the pain signals in fibromyalgia because the movements, the body's movements that hydrate your fascia are soothing. They feel like an inner massage. Your body already knows how to move to take care of you, your nervous system, by giving you these soothing, nurturing movements. And you know, this one, pandiculation, oh, you've seen it on my channel before. It's a feel-good, whole body 
sensation. The chemistry changes, the structure reorganizes. Pandiculation is one of the most um, easily recognizable hydrating movements of your body. And you can notice that the language is changing. So in the previous um, video, we talked about strength coming from muscle. It doesn't, it comes from this hydration. And when you are unwinding and in pandiculation, there's an expansion from the inside out. Your body tries to get into those areas, to get into those sticky areas and change the viscosity from stiff to hydrated, right? So that's what hydration is. I just want to add something else because this subject is so important and so close to my heart as well. I was wondering, where does this vitality come from? So in the next lesson, I'm going to guide you to fascia as a sense organ, not just with the nervous system, but it has its own bioenergy, bioelectricity, right? So when we move and we're hydrating, our body's producing electricity as well. So um, there's something else I wanted to add here for hydration. So how does hydration charge our body? There are two people I want to refer you to. The first one is Gerald Pollack. He is a water scientist and he talks about water having a fourth phase. Let me explain. So we know that in chemistry, if you did chemistry or physics, substances can have a state, solid, liquid, gas. And with water, it has a fourth phase. And water is not the only substance, but we, water is remarkable in the way it changes state. And the fourth phase of water, he calls a liquid crystal. It's gel-like. It can go from stiff to supple. It can go from glue-like to gel-like. It behaves as a liquid crystal is neither solid nor liquid. It's in between. So that's what liquid crystals are. They behave in a particular way, the way the molecules organize themselves based on the information that they are experiencing in that moment. And one of the most significant um, takeaways from the work of Gerald Pollock and structured water is that in that fourth phase, water has an extra ion, an extra charge. Let me just share that, it's charged. So um, he calls this charged water exclusion zone water, EZ water. And this water um, becomes charged next to water-loving molecules like hyaluron in our body. So when we feel good, when there is less stress in our body, we have more easy water. And the movements in soma sensing that I guide you to is how the body moves to reduce stress that will increase the easy, the exclusion zone water. So our body is like a battery. We can charge our body by increasing our easy water. And if we feel you know, vibrant, vital, we have more of this easy water. And what's amazing about this easy is that it, uh, the more that we have, the less toxicity that we have in our body, right? It removes the, the toxicity of our body. And that's just one of the clues of restoring vitality. It changes the environment. It changes the biochemistry. It's just one way of looking at how our body recharges. So the work of Gerald Pollock and the other is Carla Stecco. She's a fascial anatomist and her kind of um, research has been on hyaluron, right? This water loving molecule and discovering this new cell called a fascicite that produces this ground substance, this gel like water in our body and how um, having this gel-like improves the glide of our tissue. So both are looking at the glide and when we have charged water and this glide, we restore suppleness, strength and vitality. So 
I hope this is landing for you and for those of you who wanted to understand hydration, this is for you. My next video is on fascia as a hidden sense.